But we want to go to our live coverage with reaction to the release of these tapes. Mayor India Kincannon of the city of Knoxville was one of the first to call for their release. We're going to listen in on a press conference she is giving right now. Good evening. It's a really hard day in our city. It's hard uh, to see that footage of a 17-year-old boy lose his life, same age as my own daughter, who also goes to school every day. I'm relieved that the public is finally able to see the body cam footage from last week's Austin East High School shooting, as I've been pushing for, along with so many others. Let me be clear, while this is a critical step and essential to accountability and transparency in our city, this is still a devastatingly sad day. I appreciate the DA and her staff working so hard to complete the investigation of this tragic incident. Transparency matters. Accountability matters. The body camera footage, as well as other evidence presented by the DA, offer our community a more complete picture of what unfolded on April 12th. This information, while imperative for transparency, is not easy to watch. On the one hand, an independent investigation has ended and found that KPD officers acted lawfully. On the other, a young person, a 17-year-old boy, Anthony Thompson Jr., is dead. My heart is heavy knowing how quickly an effort to prevent harm can end in tragedy. Watching the video, my heart continues to break for Anthony. His life matters, and he has gone too soon. My heart breaks for his family and those who loved him. No parent should have to bury their child, and my prayers are with them as they continue to mourn. My heart breaks for the young man who witnessed his, a friend's death and experienced the trauma no young person should have to experience. It breaks for the officers whose lives are also forever changed. Let us remember our shared humanity as we watch these events unfold on video and digest the findings of the investigation. Even as we find ourselves in places of disagreement, let us remember that we stand united in our quest for safety in our communities and for accountability and for the truth. Knoxville, we grieve together in the loss of a young person. We hurt together at the pain in our community in the lives affected by violence. We care together about the future of our city, of our young people, and of families all across Knoxville. I hope that as our community takes the time to process, that we do so valuing peace as a path toward healing. Let us all wrap our arms around the young people in Knoxville, lift up their voices, and work together to keep them safe. Let us seek and acknowledge ways to prevent the loss of life wherever lives are at risk. Let us work to build trust, to forge relationships, and work together to create, to create a more safe and vibrant city. Let us work collectively and peacefully to heal our community from this loss and from this tragedy. I'm not going to be able to address any uh, questions that the DA spoke about the details of the investigation and her, uh, her report, but I will take a few questions of a more general nature. Mayor, do you 